Welcome again guys. In this tutorial I will be talking very briefly about the secondary growth of plants. I am not an expert in plant science but let's try to cope up with this in very very basic way. That normally the way for me to understand the secondary growth of plant is not growing in height but growing in sideways. Right? Because remember the normal growth or the very basic kind of growth for any living being is the growth in the top region, right? Because it is growing and division. So if you look at the plant, it's very small, you are seeing it's rising. So it not only you can see it rising, but also you can see the the the, the area it is also rising. So horizontal growth is also being seen, not only longitudinal growth. Now th this side growth is termed as the secondary growth, right? It is it is uh, seen in case of eudicot plants right so if we take eudicot plants as an example in eudicot plants what we can see typical wood like plants which we call as trees right so tree means it's a very large long plants and very also very uh, having a very dr dr breadth also right so what it will look like for those type of plants normally uh, the secondary growth occurs due to the presence of a tissue that is present in between the xylem and phloem layer of a plant and that tissue is termed as vascular cambium vascular cambium vascular cambium is very very important tissue and this tissue is dividing this tissue is living guys it is dividing between the phloem and xylem if we if we look at a plant if we look at a plant from uh, the cross section longitudinal section how it will look like it will look something sorry it will look something like this if you look here in the longitudinal section you can see that inside there there are layers like this is the xylem layer for example and there is a phloem layer let's say this red layer is for the phloem now in between this xylem and phloem layer there is another layer that I'm drawing with this green color and this layer is going to be that vascular cambium right so I'm going to draw this image both longitudinal section as well as a cross section now if I draw a cross section of it how it will look like from the top view of a cross section it will look something like this I hope to make it more circular yeah it is so this is going to be the phloem layer inside the xylem layer right and in between the xylem and phloem layer that there is the vascular cambium this green region is the vascular cambium that we are seeing so that is it that is it guys let's mark it this is the this is the phloem this is the xylem phloem is this this is the xylem and this green color layer is the vascular cambium right same thing is there this red is the phloem blue is the xylem and green is the vascular cambium now for the secondary growth to occur this vascular cambium plays a very very vital role right now remember one thing look at this now what happens actually for the secondary growth this vascular cambium cells are active they are growing they can divide so this vascular cambium cells start to grow and divide 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 via mitosis cell division so normal mitosis cell division of vascular cambium will ultimately increase the area in between so in between the xylem and phloem this vascular cambium area start to increase as it is increasing it will increase the tree in the side regions very very simple nothing rocket science here right so that's actually what now how actually this thing occurs now during the growth and division of this vascular cambium cells in this area 
which is circulated there. So once these cells start to grow and divide and divide, it start to make a layer. The approach of the cell division of the vascular cambium is layer by layer cell division, right? So once it is dividing and produce one layer, that new layer can be a part of the xylem or it can be a part of phloem, right? Now remember the xylem and phloem that we can see in this picture are the primary tissue of the plant which is required for the for the plant for support and also it is required for the transport of water and other nutrients right so if we look at here the xylem and phloem are primary xylem and primary phloem right but once this vascular cambium start to grow and divide it creates one layer now if that new layer is going to be a part of the xylem tissue that new xylem layer will be termed as secondary xylem because it is originated from the cell division of vascular cambium right similarly if after the cell division of a new layer that new layer is going to form the tissue of phloem that phloem tissue will be termed as secondary phloem right so let me write this thing for you so what happens normally if I write it here what happens uh, vascular cambium is a vital cell div divider it can cell divide and it produce cell layers now the cell layer of uh, the second so if the cell layer is a part of the xylem it will be termed as secondary xylem right now if it is a part of phloem this is going to be secondary phloem right this is the normal process of layering right now what it will look like let's begin so what happens again I need to draw it in this way you can see here comes the red section and let's begin with very short actually uh, because I don't require that long area here so let's uh, stretch with it this layer and this red layer that we are seeing are remember flame and this blue is the xylem there okay and in between there is the vascular cambium right okay so what happens actually the vascular cambium that is present in between now after the division of this vascular cambium remember the division of the vascular cambium this a new layer forms let's say this black region is the new layer now this new layer can be a part of xylem or it can be a part of phloem if it is a part of the xylem then it will be termed as secondary xylem and if it is a part of phloem it will be termed as secondary phloem right so what happens normally suppose this this cambium start to divide and in one year, in each year, it is growing and dividing in a particular rate, steady rate. So in the first layer, when it is producing this layer, new layer, and it is becoming a part of the xylem, right? So after all, what it does actually, the picture will look something like this. And phloem remains as it is. But the xylem is now a little bit extended like that little bit extended area right so it becomes a part of a xylem now in second year or it's in after some time the cell division of vascular cambium again begins and then this cambium start to produce secondary phloem now after this year after this particular year again I, if I draw this what it will look like right so actually it will slightly be extended in each year actually slight extension and in this year also after this you know the phloem area will be increased and the other regions will remain as it is right similarly so in first year it becomes a part of xylem after the second year the cambium division it becomes a part of phloem in our in, again the next year it will become the part of xylem in next uh, division it will become the part of phloem so what it does actually vascular cambium 
is not remaining as a vascular cambium. It is growing and dividing, but the line or the layer of tissues in some time becomes a part of xylem, termed as secondary xylem. In some year, becomes a part of phloem, termed as secondary phloem. And ultimately, what we can see, if you look at in the cross-section of a plant or cross-section of a tree, which is a large old tree, what we can see, you can see many different layers, right? Beautiful layers. Now, those layers are those layers of different vas vascular cambium cell tissues or cell layers. Right now, the tissue layers now in each time each cell division of vascular cambium either becomes a part of xylem or becomes a part of phloem. So ultimately, the secondary xylem and the secondary phloem of those growing tree are increasing, and that is termed as the secondary growth. Right, and during this process, if you look at cross section of the tree, you can see those those remember those beautiful rings. Those rings are termed as annual rings and those rings are actually formed because the cell division for vascular cambium for those three are calculated and they are very much having a particular consistent rate now that rate of cell division is maintained throughout the years right so that's it guys about the secondary growth thank you